What's up guys, Will H, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lenovo Tab Plus, another video. So I've had this about three weeks now. This is a budget to mid-tier tablet. It's going to run you right now for Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday about $189. It normally runs about $289. I'll drop the product purchase link down below if you guys want to go pick this up. But I've been demonstrating some of the features of, on this device, man. Uh, the standout feature with this is going to be the speaker system out here. So it has eight JBL speakers, Adobe tuned, and these speakers sound great. Uh, you're not going to find another tablet that's going to have the, the speakers like this one. Uh, they're not only loud, but they put out excellent sound. Uh, you got other great features with this, this tablet. Uh, PC mode, which is something like Samsung Dex. I did make a video about that. I'll drop that video link down below. And today, as you guys see, I'm using it as a second screen, a second monitor here. So this is another feature built into this budget tablet that is great. So if you got a PC, you can use it as a second dis uh, display here. Now this display, this tablet is the Lenovo Tab Plus. It has the MediaTek Helio G99 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, which is expandable. So it's not a standout or high power device, but uh, MediaTek G99 processor has been great for me. I haven't had any issues at all. It does have a kickstand on it, so you can angle this just how you want it and get the perfect angle if you use it as a second screen as well. Now, the way this is possible, it has Lenovo Freestyle. Now, with the Freestyle, this is, allows you to have a smart display collaboration between your PC and your tablet. Now this will work with Windows 10 and 11. So uh, what you have to do on your Windows tab, on your Windows laptop, you have to download this app called Smart Connect. And once you do that, Lenovo has their part of it already there. You just go in and you go to Smart Connect on here on your tablet. And the touch screen still works over here. You're gonna be able to still use your touch screen, your onboard keyboard, on screen keyboard. If you have the Lenovo pen, you can use that. You can play music from your tap, your PC over to your tablet, which has the better speakers. You can transfer files and you can stream apps as well. So uh, the connection is easy. Let me go back out. Let's go into the settings. And you come over to Smart Connect on the tablet right here, Smart Connect, and you just connect them like that. So uh, as you guys see, I can still use my my touch screen, I can interact between the tablet interface and Windows at the same time. So this is the interface on the Smart Connect right here. As you guys see, I'm connected to the Lenovo Tab Plus. I can see the battery percentage there. The first thing you got over here, let's go down to the bottom. This is your settings. So you got general device account features about and help. In the general, you're gonna have things like setup behavior, public net network visibility, uh, visible when locked, device wallpaper, things like that. That's what you're going to have in there. You can toggle those on or off just as you please. Device is going to show your device, which is the Lenovo tab. You got your account information. Then you got features, which is Windows keyboard shortcuts. Use smart clipboard. Use share hub, share hub sync. About is going to be about the, the device. And then you got your help. So when you come over here, this is where you, you can see right down here at the bottom before I get over there, these are the rec recent apps that I had open right there. Now over here, this is your activities. This is all the apps that are on my, on my tablet right here. So if I wanted to go in and say use LumaFusion, which is not available on Windows that I, th that I know of, I can go in and edit a video on my tablet here. I can full stream this as well. And I can edit this video in full time uh, on the device, as you uh, guys see. Green and, I love uh, it. and this is doing going wirelessly right now. You can connect this with a wire, a wire as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of that. And that that goes for any iPhone here. Now gaming, I did have Surfway Surfer, Surfway Surfer open, but you're gonna need a controller to play this game uh, with if you're gonna do games on here. So at least this game anyway, but as you see, it opens up and it runs. So 
Uh, those are the apps that are on my tablet that I'm opening up on my laptop right here. So uh, we're going to go back out. That's your app section. You can use your, your camera on your tablet as a webcam as well. I haven't done that. I don't have a need for that, but you can do it. You can go into your files. Now, these are the files that are on my laptop that I can transfer to my tablet. So any pictures, videos, songs, or whatever, you can do there. Also, like I was telling you guys about the uh, music, let's go over here. I can play my music that's on my laptop through the speakers over here. So we're going to click on, uh, let's do this one here. And it's automatically going to play through the better speakers that are on my tablet. So that is coming through the tablet. And let me turn the volume up. Now that I'm doing that, I can minimize this. And if I wanted to do something on the web, I can have my music going in the background. If I want to do some Cyber Monday shopping, I go over here to Best Buy, I open up Best Buy. And I can drag this stream right over here. As you guys see, working, working great. A little stutter there, as you guys see. And it's working great. I can also have another display over here open. Say I want a Twitter open, I can open up Twitter. Now I'm gonna turn this down so we can hear what I'm saying, but the music going. I got my secondary dis display going here. I can stroll over here, and this is wireless, as you guys see. No issues there. And as you guys see, it's working great. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this. And I'm going to leave that one open over there. I'm going to go back to the Smart Connect. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the music, too. Let's go ahead and stop that. Let's go back to here. Stop it. And I'm going to close the music out. So that is files. And then you got Smart Clip right here. This is a couple of photos that I transferred from one device to the other right there. And it'll let you see Cross Connect. This is where... You can decide if you want this on one side or the other. I think we already went over this. Uh, you can extend the PC display. You can mirror this display, link keyboard and mouse, disconnect right there. You also can uh, control your scaling right there and allow out audio output to the tablet. So going back, we got the share hub so I can share files right here drag from one to the other right there and that is pretty much it right there as far as the app the smart connect app right there and like i was showing you guys i can have different things open i can move windows from one side to the other right here let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and open up something else let's go ahead and do nbc news msnbc news i can drag this over and as you guys see, minimal lag works great. So I can be strolling this over here, go back over here and continue to stroll over here, which is Twitter. I think that's what I had open. Yeah, Twitter over here. And it works decent, man. Uh, very little lag, anything like that. I can have multiple windows open on either one. You know, I can minimalize this just like that and i can open up another tab over here uh let's see what i want to do let's do best buy again and so now i can split have two strings open here just like this i can snap one see if i can snap it yep snap that one and then continue on with uh google over here on this side so as you guys see i got a secondary display here that works great able to stroll around and I can come right back over here so the Lenovo tab plus is a great little tablet that has a lot of great features and this is another one right here second display you can use it as a second display you can transfer files you can play your music through it uh, touch screen still interact I can go in and still use uh, the tablet part of this if I want to uh, I can go in 
and use the tablet part. Go over here, come back, go back into Windows, and in the Windows part, I can also use the touch screen if I'm uh, in the browser over here and I don't want to use my mouse, or if I got a pen or something, uh, I can still, you know, use my, my finger or a pen to stroll on here. Let me go back to somewhere where I can stroll. Let's go back to Best Buy again. Let's go ahead and full screen this. So, yeah, even on the Windows part of it, I can use, I can stroll, I can use the touch screen. Although my laptop is not a touch screen. So, uh, pretty great feature right here on a budget tablet. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description if you guys want to go pick this up. Will H, I'm out.